when a man wants intimacy from his wife, he should be patient. When a woman wants intimacy from his husband, there's outrage. No, she should be patient as well. The man should be patient, the woman should be patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be That's equal. Why are you asking? You're creating so so sister, 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 your, sister. Mind, we follow Islam. And in Islam, a woman came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he said to the Prophet, my husband doesn't sexually satisfy me. The Prophet gave, allowed her to have divorce. Her right is intimacy. You have no right to deny his intimacy. Now, you can choose to, if you want to say no, that's up to you. But guess what? She has a right to go and get divorced. If she goes to a scholar and says, my husband doesn't... Look, 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 according to the Sharia. Sister, we don't follow your opinion. We follow Islam and Sharia. Let me make that clear. If a woman goes to the sheikh and says, my husband, look, look, not doesn't give me sex. He doesn't sexually satisfy me. Meaning, he does, but he doesn't satisfy me. She has a right to seek divorce. Not a single man here can tell her, oh, what kind of a woman are you? Shut up. She has a right for intimacy. He's not pleasing her. She has a right to divorce. What would the feminists do? Woo! Takbir! Come on, guys. Takbir! Allah Akbar! But when it's a man, shh, be patient. Control your desires. Hypocrisy. So, sister, once again, now let me ask you a question. In this scenario, let's go to the scenario of the angels cursing the woman. Who is here to blame? Check this out. As a Muslim man, guys, are we allowed to have girlfriends? No. Brothers, I'm talking to you. Hello? No, are we allowed to have girlfriends? No. Side chicks? No. Mistresses? No. Meaning what? We have to lower our gates. So, it's not like the non-Muslim men who are like, you know what? I'm bored of my wife. Let me go and sleep around. We can't do that. So, when we're out and about, or for example, we desire a woman, a wife. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. Sister. Sister. sister wallahi. Our Islam and your Islam is somewhere else. Let me tell that clearly. You know why? Because if a man is going home, can you imagine protecting himself, lowering his gaze, provides for her financially, works endless, and then little Jane Sachisa comes home and says, Can we have intimacy? And she goes, No. Who is oppressing who? She is oppressing him. She's not. She's not. Okay, but you're doing it. Women cannot wear perfume. They shouldn't wear perfume. Me. Women shouldn't wear perfume. Sister, you're changing the topic. I was talking about perfume. Sister, oh, I'm like, this, like not, point, right? sister, so, I'm not talking about so perfume, intimacy. You're so close-minded. The conversation. Sister, I'm talking about intimacy. You're changing the topic. Oh, I'm I saying. Wasn't, okay, but the conversation intimacy. earlier wasn't intimacy. What is your problem with the angels? Angels cursing the woman that is abusing her husband by not giving him intimacy. How is that abuse? abuse? I don't want to have sex. Bro, so I'm abusing abuse, you. Man. What? What? Bro, what bro, you're wrong. Is abuse? Brothers, did you did you hear the study that showed? That study didn't. Okay, one second. One second. Masturbate. I don't care. Masturbate. Then. Okay, good, good, good. Check this out. You know what she's saying? You know what she's saying? Go and violate Allah's laws, but I'm not going to give you what you want. Let me tell you something. A woman like that. Let me tell you something. Sister, masturbation is haram. You're saying to him, go and commit haram. Go commit. Look, look, check this out. Check this out, guys, guys. Look, look. Islamic man will control. Sister, 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 sister. Guys, are we all men? One second, one second, one second, bro. One second, one second. Are we men? Yeah. How hard is it for us to control our sexual desires? Not that hard. One second, let the men talk. Brother, brother, you're a different type of man. Yes, man, you must be if you're telling me no. No, I'm so sorry. If you're telling me you're not like that, then it's, I'm so sorry. If you're saying that. Are you a Muslim? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry, forgive me. I, I thought you was a regular. Forgive me, I take it back. I asked Allah. I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. Forgive, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I thought, I thought you were an atheist making heckling. I apologize. On camera, I apologize to this brother and I ask him to forgive me. Let's check this out. A man provides, protects, he, he works endless nights, pays the rent, electricity bill, looks after his family, etc. And he comes home and this is his wife and he just wants intimacy. And guess what? Does the hadith say, force yourself upon your wife? No, it doesn't. It just says if he's angry, the angels curse. And what's our sister saying? No, even if you provide, protect, this, that, and no sex. What kind of a planet are you living on? What kind of a planet are you living on? And this is the hypocrisy of feminism, the disease of feminism that's infiltrating our sisters, that this comes from a sister in hijab. Unbelievable. A woman, wallahi, let me tell you something. And I'll tell, speak to my other sisters as well, yeah? You imagine you have a husband, you look after the kids, you make, you look after him, you're good to him, you're loyal to him and you do all of this and when you're on the road, the man pulls out a knife, he says, I don't have a right, I don't need to protect you. How would you feel? How would you feel, sisters? I'm asking you. Would you be happy? Would you be happy, sister? No, you wouldn't. Look, these are our sisters, alhamdulillah, at least haven't been affected by this. Yeah? But the point is this. My dear sister, are you still there? My dear sister, my dear sister does anybody agree with what the sister's saying? Look, let me give you an example, yeah? And maybe you will understand, yeah? My dear sister, my dear sister. My dear sister, are you still in the conversation? I'm still in the conversation. Okay, sister. 
rambling. I'm losing. That's fine, sister. Hamdan, sister, you can lose interest if you like. It is disappointing that a woman who observes the hijab is here, number one, rejecting a hadith. It's disappointing that a man who says that they're a Muslim, you know, yes. and says that they listen to the hadith is using scientific research yes. to justify horniness. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. So, so it's embarrassing, once it's embarrassing that as men, we have a higher sex, sexual drive. And can you imagine we're blamed now? What you men, look, look. religion, that's a ayb alaykum. Sister, being horny is not aib. It's, it's, that's why Allah said you get married. Nowhere in Islam does... Sister, can you show me where in the Quran or the Hadith that it says to be horny is aib? Is, is a sin? It doesn't say that, but akhlaq. What are you talking about, sister? So, okay, it's bad akhlaq. One second. It's bad akhlaq to be horny and want to have intimacy with your wife. Sister, what planet do you live on? One line. I didn't say that. You're putting words into okay, my mouth. Clarify, the forceful. The, 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 you know, the, the idea that they're obligated to give it to you. Or the idea that... Not obligated, because the hadith would say, force yourself upon her. Does the hadith say that? It says no. It says, if the husband said, can we have intimacy? She says, no. He goes to sleep, upset, the angels curse her. You're not even... You know what she goes? The angel's not even allowed to curse her. Get upset. Why is it upon the man to get upset? Okay, no problem. One second. I'm going to give you another, a same example. You're, you have a husband, he provides, protects, good to the kids, shopping, rent, everything he provides for you. You walk down the road, a man pulls a knife. He says, I am not obliged to protect you. Would you be upset? Would you be upset? Of course. You'd be look, upset. look, 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 look. Course, look at this. Of course. Okay, look, on, my, my dear sister, outside. that husband of yours, or whoever, if you, I don't know, anyway, this man, he will move on with another woman. Wallahi I tell you, if your wife, let me tell you, sister, Wallahi, look at her, she goes, I would be upset if my husband, after doing all of that, being married to him for so long, look, 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 I'll be upset, but if a man is upset, no, 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 no. Wallahi, sister, Wallahi, Wallahi, do you guys agree with her? Wallahi al-Azim, all I'm going to say is that, do you agree with what she said? Sorry, but if the wife has a valid reason, if the wife has a valid reason, of course, sister. Thank you. Now, look, our sister, may Allah bless her, is reasoning. If a woman is heavily pregnant, if she's on a period, if she's been working all day looking after the kids, like even then, there can be a compromise, there can be understanding. Yeah, at least there is understanding because we're not seeing she's working, her, like she's looking after three kids. The man works, come home and help your wife. Cater for that. Make put the kids. No, no, it's not fine, sister. What you're, what she's saying, Mela, bless her. What you're saying are mountains apart. Why? Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, what you're saying is against Islam. Wallahi, Adim, what you're saying is against Islam. Because you're saying, you know why? Sister, 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 sister. That woman is abusing sexually her husband. If a man, let me tell you, and any feminist would agree. Angry at her for saying no to sex. No, 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 not is angry. That not, is that not is that not abuse back? No, 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 sister, sister, back? sister. If a woman is sexually frustrated and her husband is saying to her, no, 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 I even we might check if this woman ended up falling into haram. Yeah, the scholars might even maybe, maybe even blame the man and say, okay, what happened? My wife committed zina. She shouldn't. Okay, why? And the woman says, this man hasn't given me sex for two years. The scholars will turn to him and say, oh, what kind of a haiwan are you, animal you are? You're an animal, hold on a second. Yani, this woman, she has a right to intimacy, yeah? And you've been saying no to her? A woman has a right to intimacy, but it's not No, 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 she doesn't. If a woman comes and he can reject her, and she has a right not to be angry, she should celebrate it. She should flowers in the air. Ooh, come on, sister, what are you talking about? Please, I'm so sorry. And by the way, the reason why I'm so harsh, forgive me, is because this ideology is penetrating intellectually our sisters, yes, who are watching at home and getting this idea of, yeah, I can't, no, no, no. Wallahi, what is it? Look, 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 look. And this is the issue. If, you're, if your husband went and got a second wife, you blame him. So why do you get a second wife? You give me no sex. No, no sex. No, he doesn't need household permission. He does not need household permission. He doesn't need household permission. Then I shouldn't need permission from Muharram to go out. Sister, well, like, sister, submit to Islam, not feminism. You have not, sister. My dear sister, sister, you are you are drenched in feminism. You are drenched in feminism. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. And not only that, you contradicted yourself. Wallahi, sister, sister, just the way you said you'll be disappointed and upset with your husband if he doesn't defend you, you... Then why are you saying, why is he angry with me if I don't give him sex? 
Crossing. It's the crossing here, bro. So, one second, one second. One second. The Prophet said, the Prophet said, the woman gets cursed. What's your problem? Do you have a problem with the Messenger of Allah? The cursing part is... Sister, sister. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the woman gets cursed. You have a problem? At the end of the day... Do you have a problem, sister, with that? I do, I do have a little bit of a problem with that. You yeah. have a problem with Allah and his you messenger. This is feminism. You, That's not the sister, if, sister, if the Prophet stood in front of you and said, my dear sister, shh, the Prophet came to you and said, no, 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 sister, sister, sister. If the Prophet came to you and said, my dear sister, if your husband wants intimacy and you don't give it, you are cursed. What would you say to him? Say that again. If the message of Allah was in front of you and he said these exact words, that if your husband, who provides and loves and protects you, and he wants, and he says, and he says that he wants intimacy, yes, it, it, no, it does, it means he's cursed. All night, angels cursing that All night the angels curse her. Of course it does. Yes, it does. It does mean that. It does mean that. It's actually, it's actually a major sin. This, no, 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 sorry, no. The, the scholars, the scholars, the scholars say anytime the messenger mentions curse, it's a major sin. So, one second, one second. Sister, sister, brother, Aki, 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 please, let's, Aki, let's not show up for our religion, please. Prophet didn't say she is cursed. She is cursed. The angels will curse her all night. That doesn't mean she, the prophet said you are cursed. He's just saying what, okay. what is going to happen. Okay, is the angels cursing the woman? All night, yeah. Is that a curse? No, no, no. That is, it's not the same thing. If you say you are cursed, okay. it's a totally different thing. Okay, I'm so sorry. I totally disagree with what I'm I said. I'm sorry, you're just adding something which is I'm, not right. I'm so sorry, bro. I don't... I don't I'm sorry. Yeah, Anyways. I'm sorry. I, I totally disregard what you're saying because let's we have a clear mind. hadith that says the woman will be cursed till, till the morning. Let's not shout with each other. Let's I'm not shouting. Now, if the messenger of Allah said that to you, yes, what would you reply to him? To, if you told me what the hadith is. If he said the woman will be cursed till the morning for rejecting his, uh, her husband, what would you say to him? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Now what I'm saying is this, but why are you so upset about this? I'm not upset, it's a conversation. Okay, but what, no, no, but why are you so, what, what is the issue where you are, look, let me tell you something. Okay, let me put it like this to you, yeah? I believe a woman who has been good to his hus her husband, very good, looks after kids, and walking down the road, and her husband runs away, wallahi, I will not blame that woman if she said, may Allah curse you. Wallahi, I will not blame her. Wallahi, I will not blame her because you know why? She was at her most vulnerable. That man could have killed her. And wallahi, you know what? If she said, I'm going to divorce him, I'll say, Sister, you know what? Wallahi, this man, this man is a coward. I believe it is everybody's duty to protect one another. If that's your friend, you're not going to run away, are you? No, no, it's your wife. He runs but away if from it was the... your friend. If it was your friend, you'd do the same Which thing. Which one's closer, friend or wife? It depends. It depends. Wife, it come depends. on, come on, man. No, I'm not come on, no. I'm not, my, 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 I have my friends. I have my brothers, yeah. But my wife, who shares my life with me, has has children with me. She's a part. Come on, she's my like. She, she, do you get what I'm trying to say? Come on. No, 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 no. If I did, wallahi, the entire Muslim community, her parents, my dad, my friends, will all flip in with me. Uh, I guess the conversation is getting heated somehow. Of course, um. I don't want to believe that what she's saying falls under feminism given that these are some of the things I've learned about in class feminist um, idea you know um, I think I don't know what she follows or believes in you know and not every female Muslim female is going to think the way she thinks of course you've got the right to say no after someone has i mean you don't I, I feel like you've got it should be your right to pleasure someone once they come back home from wherever they went there should be that agreement you know some of these things talk about them before marriage marry someone you can communicate with so that if you're tired you can tell the person you know what i'm tired from running up and down taking care of these children cooking cleaning all those things I think men are reasonable and they should be able to understand. But to think that you have no choice, even when you're tired, you should be available, is insane. But the way she's wording, the way she, whatever she's saying is where the issue is, you know. I wish she was calm enough to just put up, to put her points across very well because i was thinking this entire time even if you're tired even if you can sometimes you're so tired you eat you sleep 
you're so tired you're just not you someone is bound to understand how you're feeling and there are men out there that actually understand you know what my wife does a good job taking care of the house let me just understand this but the fact the issue here is cursing the woman so it's, what if it's the other way around are men also obligated to pleasure their wives do they also get cursed in this situation or it's just women let's react to the last 30 minutes of this and see what we find out